In this video, we show you how to use object-oriented programming approach in order to save your costs by reducing development time. At the end of our previous video regarding the container, we showed how to add screens very easily via copy and paste. But there's another and better concept to add screens, and the best thing is, it can be used for every object in Unico HMI. For a better understanding, we will demonstrate this concept by using screens. If you look to the folder My Screens, you will see the term type at each panel in brackets. That means that you can use these elements as types, which is more or less similar to a template. You can set up a screen, for example, to be used as background with your CI and use it as base for each new screen. Or maybe you have some common elements like a stop button or shortcuts, which must be available on each screen. If you open the context menu of My Screens, you will see a new entry, My Screens. Now you can insert an instance of panel 1 as new object. Panel 3 is an instance of panel 1. That means they have a relationship. Panel 1 is a parent. Panel 3 is a child. Every property of panel 1 is inherited to panel 3. If you make a change to panel 1, for example, changing the color of an LED, it will be automatically inherited to panel 3. Now we are panel 3. Let's go to panel 1 change the color let's open panel 3 again and you see there's a change this is a one way relationship because childs can't inherit it to parents remember that panel 2 was created by copy and paste panel 1 there's no relationship between these two panels. If we open panel 2, we see there are other elements. If you change something in panel 1, it will have no impact to panel 2. Nevertheless, panel 2 could be a type, of course, 2. Thanks for watching.